Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy. Check this out. So we're working in the shop today and we're working on a 560R round baler here. And so I've got, they call this the lower support. Um, I actually like to refer to this as the net pan. So we've got the net pan removed out of this 560R baler, okay? And that net pan basically runs rear to forward of the lower tailgate, okay? And actually helps direct net into the baler and guide that net down up and into the bale, okay? And so I'm gonna show you real quick what we've got going on here. So we basically have a lot of wear on this portion of the net pan where it runs against the rear of the baler on the baler belts, okay? So your baler belts are putting a lot of uh, wear on this net pan. Now this net pan can be adjusted and I'll show you the proper adjustment of that later. Um, but as you can see, we've got a hole worn uh, in the pan on the left-hand side, okay? And so what they make for that is an insert, okay, or a repair kit, so to speak. And so this is the repair kit, this little panel here. Now keep in mind that this whole support um, is about $3,300, okay? And so the repair kit is just a little over $300, okay? And so we're gonna clean this up really good. And this repair kit or insert sort of fits like this, okay? So we'll just go through there and clean some portions up here and use a MIG welder to weld this new insert in. Now keep in mind, you don't have to cut the original insert out. This will lay right over the top, okay? And it's got some holes here on the back side where you can make a pretty good weld here, okay, on the back to hold that in place. Um, now you'll wanna use some vice grips or C-clamps to sort of hold that down in place and take all the gaps out of the, the two pieces of metal where they fit together, okay? And so I'll show you that when we get ready to weld that up with a MIG welder and we'll get this net pan support um, back in good working condition and we'll install it in the baler and show you how to properly adjust that net pan. So we've went ahead and got our insert welded in as you can see here and got that welded in place so it looks good. Um, that'll correct the hole here on the original part of the net wrap pan, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and install this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint this, um, these spots where we've, where we've welded in the insert. And then we'll go ahead and install the pan. And when we get that installed in the baler, we will talk about proper adjustment of pan tension to the belt. We've got the pan installed in the baler now. So I've got it bolted here and I've got it bolted here um, loosely so that we can move this up and down to adjust our pan to belt tension. Okay, so we're looking at that right there and we want that pan to be up against those belts with a little tension. Okay, we'll talk about that in a few minutes, but I wanted to make mention if you're doing this, you'll want to check your belt tracking, okay? And which we've already done, we didn't really have to adjust it because it was tracking fine okay but what we're looking for is to make sure that all of our belts are tracking straight and we don't have belts tracking all the way to the right or to the left okay and, and if they are the first thing you should do is adjust your belt tracking and you'll adjust your belt tracking by using this number eight rear lower tailgate roll and if you'll notice, this is slotted here. It's got a slotted hole on the right-hand side of the baler. Okay, so you can move this roll up or down, okay, whichever way you need to go to adjust your belt tracking, okay? And uh, so that's a pretty important setting if you're wanting to check your net pan 
tension. We need to check that belt tracking first, okay? So we're gonna talk about adjusting the net pan to belt pressure, okay? So stay tuned and we'll look at that. You're gonna want to look at your net pan prior to making this adjustment to see where the angle of the rear portion of this net pan is coming in contact with the belts here. What I mean by that is when you push that pan up, kind of get a look and see where that's at because we want the angle of that belt to sort of lay right in the angle of this pan. Okay, where the, where the belt goes around the roll, we want to have good contact right in that angle portion right there of this net pan. Okay, so the way we can adjust that is down here on the front. These holes are slotted here. And so if we move that back, we can, we can adjust that distance of where that angle makes contact with the, with the lay of the belt over the roll. Okay, so we're gonna adjust that real quick and then we'll take a look at it. We've got that adjusted where we've got good contact here in the right position of the pan where the pan is gonna make contact against the belt. Okay, so if you take a look at this side, you can see it a little better. Okay, so we're gonna adjust that tension and what we're after there is about five to 10 pounds, okay? And uh, what I mean by that is this is sort of spring loaded here. So when we move this pan up or down here, we can adjust that pressure against that pan to belt contact. And what we're after here is to have five to 10 pounds so that when we pull the pan down, it takes five to 10 pounds of pressure to, to release that off of the belt. Okay, and what that's gonna do is when the net comes on, to feed net into the baler, it's gonna sort of get pinched right in between the pan and the belt to pull the net into the baler, okay? And then also when the net goes down the pan, if you'll take a look here at these slats right here on the bottom of this pan, they have a little curvature to them, okay? Now, if you're baling in some uh, wet conditions and you get a lot of material on this number nine uh, front lower tailgate roll, okay, then what will happen is it will bend these down a little bit. And when it bends those down, okay, then it doesn't feed net up into the baler. It throws that timing off, okay? So you won't get the net into the bale as fast as you would like to, okay? So all we need to do here is just take a hammer and kind of tap those in and get that curvature to sort of line with the belt here, okay? Uh, we don't want those tight against the belt, but we do want this nice and, and uniform curvature here to feed net into the baler, okay? So we're gonna also make that adjustment. I've got my fish scales hooked on the pan there, and I'm gonna pull that down. And as you can see, it's breaking off of that belt right there at about 10 pounds. Okay, when I get to about 10 pounds of pull, um, that's just enough to break that, that clearance between the net pan and your belt. Okay, so that would be the proper way to adjust the net pan. Um, and it feels like a lot actually, but it's really not as much as you think. Um, but just remember, if the baiter is having net feeding problems um, a lot of your problems can come from the tension on the pan to the belt contact now as you can see he's ran this pretty tight previously and and worn holes uh, in his net pan so it's pretty critical to make that adjustment right um, and try to get that five to ten pounds okay between your belt and your pan okay and we're going to go ahead and adjust the curvature of the slats going into the baler okay so uh, just a quick tip on how to correctly adjust the pan on your round baler okay most all of your round balers are the same if it's a net wrap baler and they'll all adjust at that um, five to ten pounds 
of tension between the pan and the baler. And uh, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out along the way. Larry the Tractor Guy, signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here. Other videos here. Subscribe here. And buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we'll right. make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already, already, already burning me out. Some bloopers. We're sitting in the sun over here, man.